Let's go ahead and quickly download data. Link to this page is in the description. There are steps here on how to download the data. Let's go ahead and start the web soil survey. And we're gonna go ahead and just download an entire county's worth of data. So now we can scroll to the top and we can see we have different ways of examining this data. Of course, we just want to download it. And this will let us go ahead and reselect some of those same options if we're working at the county level. So go ahead and download this zip file, open it, and copy the contents to your local hard drive. Our next step is to convert one of these tables, and we're actually going to be working with the muagate.txt file. If we open this, we can see it's a pipe delimited file. Open up LibreOffice Calc which is of course LibreOffice's spreadsheet. Go ahead and just drag this text file in here. Make sure you have other and a pipe entered here. Click OK. This is great, but we're missing our headers. So insert a row above and then open up that other file in the description and this will provide you with those headers. So just copy that into the other file, paste it, save it as an Excel spreadsheet xlsx or xls either will work add that spreadsheet we just created and go ahead and add our soil mu underscore a underscore this last portion will be unique to your download area now what we want to use to join these data mu key field but when we look at the properties for our spreadsheet we'll see that this is listed as an integer type here while in our shapefile it's listed as a string so we need to use the refactor tool to go ahead and change that. And of course, we're interested in doing this with our MU agate spreadsheet. So we can go ahead and scroll down here and we want to change this to text or string. Go ahead and save this and click run. You can now close that. Let's remove the old spreadsheet and then we can join these two new files. So we're going to join attributes by field value. Enter the shape file first. Table field is MU key. Make sure the refactor table is selected, also MU key, and go ahead and click run. Close this, and now when we open this, attribute table, we'll see that the data has been added. 